Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thanks for joining me. Um, so today I am going to be doing a video on um, the course I study at university. So I study fashion communication and promotion um, and I'm in my third year which is really scary. Hang on I'm just going to get a bit more comfortable. Um, it's super scary that I'm in my third year. I can't believe how quickly these last three years have gone. Well two and a bit years. Um, and I literally have one project left and I'm done. I can't believe it, I'm kind of scared. Um, but if you guys would like to find out a little bit more about what fashion communication and promotion at university is like, then please carry on watching. So I asked um, for some questions on my Instagram story, which I got a few responses. So I'm gonna reply to them and I'm also gonna give you a little bit of background information as well. Um, and one of the questions does actually kind of lead into the background information to start off with sorry about that so the first question is what a levels did you take so before i went to university i studied um at college i did textiles photography and health and social care um and photography and textiles was mainly what got me into wanting to do something within the fashion industry i loved photography um that was like my favorite subject um, a lot of hard work, but I did really, really enjoy it. Um, and I loved the fashion side of it more than anything else in the fa um, in the photography part. Um, and obviously I did textiles as well. Um, but I did really, really, really enjoy textiles, but it was more like sewing and actually making garments. And I liked doing it, but I just wasn't great at it. And... I didn't like have a proper passion for it. Um, so when I started looking at universities and what I could do after college, I found fashion communication and promotion. And what I liked about the description of it was it literally said, this is a course for anyone who is interested in fashion, who loves fashion, who wants to be part of the fashion industry, but doesn't want to make the garments. Obviously you could do as part of the course, but it wasn't a requirement and it wasn't like that was gonna be a main focus of the course. So that was something that really attracted me to the course because I was like, well, I won't need to use a sewing machine, thank God. I literally remember on my first textiles class, um, I was like brand new to the course. I literally had only met my teacher that day and I, she got us to sew this like little piece together just so that we could like practice the sewing machines and that. And I literally broke the needle. Like within the first, I don't know, probably like 10 minutes of the class, I put the needle down and it snapped and I had to get her over to come and sort it out and I just thought this isn't the best impression um, and then I also thought mm, I don't think sewing's for me <laughs> so um, yeah so in 2018 was it 2018 or 2019 2018 I went to have a look round um, Norwich University of the Arts which is where I'm currently studying to have a look like what the course was like who the teachers were what the teachers I always call them teachers they're lecturers but I'm still in that mindset that they're my teachers um and I just really liked the facilities the Norwich was really nice um the course looked really good like really up my street um so I decided that that's what I was going to do once I finished college um so yeah I took so going back to the original question, for my A-levels I took textiles, photography and health and social care and my textiles and photography I feel like got me into the course because obviously I had a portfolio, I had some photography, I had some textile bits um, but that doesn't, if you haven't done that sort of course it doesn't mean that you can't do the course, you just have to put together a creative portfolio um, and I love that, I was so excited and Yes, yeah, so then I started in September of 2019, pre-COVID, that was as as the world was normal as we knew it. Um, and then we had from September to end of February, March time, before we went into like the first lockdown. Um, so we didn't have a very like long time at uni to really get adjusted and settle in. Um, but yes, yeah, so that was like the first part of the year. Um, that was kind of like meeting everyone. We looked at fashion history and I'll have to pull up some work that I did because I can't actually remember off the top of my head. We did a written piece. We did a trend report. 
Um, so that first like term was really just introducing us to what the course was and we learned like the fund fundamentals of the fashion like industry so then we could then go on obviously year two and year three to progress and stuff. Um, and while we were actually at uni we had a lot of photography um, like tasks that we had to do for looking at moving images and image imagery um, and then yeah we had a trend report so we looked at everything to do with trends and I can't think oh also in our first year we did a group project where we um, did a magazine project but that was as the lockdown kind of came in so what we started as a group project then kind of turned into an online solo project um, as everything was unfolding with Covid um, so yeah so that was like the main part of first year um, obviously I feel like my three years at university haven't been the best in the sense that I haven't been at uni as previous students would have been. So obviously year one we were impacted in the March, in like February, March time. Um, second year, last year we were pretty much in lockdown most of the year that we were at uni. Um, so we were only going in once a week. And then this year has kind of been a bit impacted with uh, online lessons and stuff. Um, so I feel like from that point of view I haven't had we haven't like our fundamental three years haven't been like the best in the sense of that but then on the contrary to that we've learnt so many other skills that we wouldn't have learnt so we've learnt how to communicate online and this is something we talk about a lot in our uni sessions it's like trying to be resilient to what has happened and not to like see it as a negative but an impact um, a positive impact so the fact that we've like learnt how to communicate and network online um, the fact that we could speak to people on Zoom and, you know, you could reach out to more people because Zoom and, like, talking about online has become a lot more, like, prevalent in the last couple of months or so. A couple of months. I wish it was a couple of months. It's literally been only two years. Um, so, yeah, so there's, like, pros and cons to the, the last three years, but um, just try to look on the benefit side of what we've gained from it. Um... And also like group collaboration work, we've learned to do that online, which is something that we would never have learned before. Um, so there's quite a lot of like things that we've learned that we wouldn't have learned if the course had been as originally planned. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like the overall basis. Sorry, that was quite a ramble. Um, but I feel like it's important that you know that when I post this, it's not like we've had a norm normal three years at university, kind of like our year. Um, year that started in 2019 kind of ha has had all years <laughs> affected by COVID so yeah I feel like that's important to note that um, within this. There was another question that said show us your favourite pieces you've done um, so I will put them on the screen I can't really think off the top of my head what is my favourite I've done so many like different pieces of work um, and that's something else that like I've really enjoyed about the course is that I've done so much variety of work so it's not just like looking at styling I've done styling I've done moving imagery I've done visual merchandising I've done literally everything you can think of um brand looking at brands and like how they work how they put together their values their ethos their basically everything to do with the brand and I've learned so much like behind the scenes of how everything kind of comes together um, and I always describe it to people who want to study this course as it's like everything to do with fashion that you could want to know but you don't actually have to make the stuff so it's literally all the behind the scenes and how everything basically comes together which is what I love learning about um, so I'll try and have a little think and then I'll put a few um, things on the screen of a few of my favourite pieces um, I've really enjoyed my recent so third year we've just done a project that we've just finished called Pushing Boundaries um, and that was all about um, creating three tests that we wanted to like sort of develop um, so it was about eight weeks um, and I'm really 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 happy with the work that I did on this test on this like project of my tests um, so I'll insert a few bits that I did on this project so yeah so I'm really happy with what I've developed um, and it's quite hard to just choose one thing because there's like so many different things that I've done that are all different but I'm really proud of in different like ways if you know what I mean 
Um, so I'll just put a few bits on that I'm happy with. <laughs> there was also another question that says, can you show us um, different pieces of work from first, second and third year? So again, I'll put a few things on the screen of my first year stuff, my second year stuff, and my third year. Um, and it's crazy because you can really see the difference of, sorry, I'm slipping off this chair. Yeah, so it's funny looking back at my first, second and, well, first and second year work. Um, funniest looking back at my first year work because honestly at the time I had no clue about layout I had no clue how to make something look aesthetic how to make something look on brand I just I hadn't learned those skills before it wasn't something that I'd ever covered so I feel like that's what's really I've improved on so much within the three years is like learning how to create an aesthetic learning how to make something match a brand's like aesthetic and how to make it look on brand to a certain brand um, so I feel like that's something that I've definitely learned um, over the last three years, like crazy amounts. Um, and you can really see that in my first project I did, which was my trend report. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't think it's like bad or anything and it got me a good grade. But looking back, I would never do it like that now. I've learned so much more about how to like lay out, how to make... I don't know, I've just learned so much more about layout and how to make something look good. Um, which I wouldn't then, you know, replicate that again in my future styles. Um, but that's the whole point of going to university, like you learn throughout the years of what works, what doesn't work as well, and you learn how you want to do something and how you maybe wouldn't repeat it. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with how my progression has gone throughout the years. Um, and obviously we are literally going on to our final major project, which I'll probably do some more updates on because I know quite a lot of other people will be doing final major projects soon and or next year you might be doing a final major project trying to get inspiration or just want to know what it's all about um, so I might do like some little updates in the new year about that um, but that should be fun I'm excited to get going on that and like get my teeth into that I mean I say that now but I probably will regret saying that and I'll be so stressed out in the next like new year when i have to start it so someone said what is your favorite thing about the course so for me as i've said kind of before um i just love how much you learn and how much you like progress um and you can really see that when looking back at previous works um i've also had the opportunity to collaborate with film students and just do stuff that i wouldn't have done if i hadn't have obviously done the course um you you meet quite a lot of like connections because we have guest lectures come in and we like get to hear about their story and how they got to where they were um and then we can talk to them reach out to them like ask them questions so i feel like that's a really good thing to sort of have exposure to because then when you go into maybe into like the workforce fashion industry life you then have connections within the industry that you can already like connect with and you already could be like oh I, I, you came in for an industry talk in our university and you've got something somewhere to like start the conversation um obviously like people that come to speak to us have been in the industry for quite a long time some of them so it's just like nice to hear what they have to say about the industry and what they'd change um often like people ask the question like what would you do differently or what would you tell your university self and they'll give some really good advice so i feel like that's something that i really like about the course um and yeah that's like one of my favorite things um the next question is do you know what you want to do afterwards like is there a certain like job type i want to go into um so ah <laughs> i feel scared um no so i kind of know that i want to go into an area i'd say so i've got a couple of areas that i like the thought of at the moment but next term when we start our final major project we have a lot more conversations about what we want to do next year um we look more at like getting internships and getting jobs and applying for jobs postgraduate and all stuff like that so that kind of comes next term with in regards to like learning about more stuff like that um but at the moment i really like social media and content creation that's like one of my favorite things i like about the course and what i can imagine myself doing next on my like next chapter um i also really like um oh, i suppose that's the same like moving imagery and creating like content i suppose that all kind of comes under one Ooh. 
Um, and then I also really have been liking this term and even last back end of the last year um, creating visual merchandising and uh, creating like store mock-ups and window displays and that kind of area so I feel like they're two kind of different areas that I'm really interested in um, and I feel like the only way that I would sort of know which way to go is to do an internship or um, to have a trial somewhere or like get work experience somewhere to, so that I can know whether Mm, that's not really what I was thinking that was going to be. I'm not sure I want to do that or that was really good. I'd really like to like pursue that further. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just like maybe trying to get some work experience. Um, obviously, I do a few things on Instagram with influ influencing type things with collaborations and working with brands and stuff, which I really like doing, but I don't see that as like a full time career like I don't think that that's what I'm gonna want to do full-time at the moment at the moment that's just my opinion but I mean that could change and also it's not like the amount that I earn from doing um collaborations and stuff is a full-time job wage if you know what I mean so that's more of like a little side hobby that I like doing but yeah I kind of see myself definitely going within the social media content creation route or a creative director route um, but then I can also see myself doing visual merchandising, store designs, um, I'm really interested in architecture as well like that kind of side of things so um, yeah it just kind of depends how my um, FMP goes and I suppose what influences me over the next couple of months um, and then also what we learn about within the next term um, regarding um, internships and how we can apply to places and work experience and stuff like that um but they're my two like kind of main routes at the moment um so the last question i have for this video today is would you recommend this course so yes i would recommend this course if you are looking to go into the fashion industry or it's something that really interests you and you just have a general love for fashion um as i said i've learned so much i've got so much knowledge from it and it's definitely prepared me for going into the industry um, and yeah I would really recommend the course it's a great course if you are interested in anything to do with fashion but not actually creating the garment um, or products so yeah I would really recommend the course and on the actual website of our university under fashion communication and promotion I'll just try and find it so it has a list of everything that you could do with the degree and it really just shows that even though you're learning a set sort of amount of skills you can literally take it anywhere within the industry. I'll just give you a little, so these are the typical career paths, oh you're not going to be able to see it very well, um, but just some of them are fashion stylist, style scout, trend forecaster, fashion buyer, visual merchandiser, fashion marketer, brand strategist, social media strategist, creative art director, promotion and PR, PR and event managing, fashion writing, fashion editor, fashion blogger, fashion vlogger, fashion illustrator. So there's loads of things that you can do with this degree. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. It's just something different and people have always like asked about my course, what it entails. So I just thought I'd make a video on it and give you guys a little like summary um but yeah i hope, hope you guys have liked this video stay tuned on my channel because i will have vlogmas videos coming up soon i don't know whether there'll already be one up if there isn't there's one definitely coming soon um and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye